Welcome to the public hearing for the State Road 436 East Altamont Drive at Ronald Reagan Boulevard Intersection Improvements Design Project. This hearing is being held to give all interested persons the right to understand the project and to comment on their concerns to the department. The Florida Department of Transportation, or FDOT, is conducting this meeting in accordance with all state and federal regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Title VI requires that public participation be solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5 Title VI Coordinator, or Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, at the addresses shown here. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in an expeditious manner. In November 2010, Florida enacted Senate Bill 1842, which requires the department to hold a public hearing whenever modifications to property access are proposed along a state highway. Hearings must be held 180 days prior to finalization of the design of the project. This public hearing is being held relative to state project number 434931-1. The proposed improvements involve extending and widening the eastbound left turn lane at State Road 436 and Ronald Reagan Boulevard. These improvements will increase the capacity and accommodate traffic volumes occurring during the afternoon and evening peak hours. The FDOT is seeking to improve safety and operations at the intersection of State Road 436 or East Altamont Drive and Ronald Reagan Boulevard in Altamont Springs, Seminole County. Operations can be improved by providing additional storage for the eastbound left turns from State Road 436 onto Ronald Reagan Boulevard. An additional goal of the project is to update pedestrian features at the intersection. The limits of the project are along State Road 436 from Boston Avenue to Anchor Road. The limits of the proposed intersection improvements are from Hermit's Trail to east of Ronald Reagan Boulevard. Outside of the intersection improvement limits, the existing sidewalks will be widened from Boston Avenue to Anchor Road, existing signals will be upgraded to mast arms, and the westbound right turn lane at Boston Avenue will be extended. The current configuration of the intersection includes a substandard left turn lane that causes vehicles making a left turn onto northbound Ronald Reagan Boulevard to queue up in the eastbound left lane of State Road 436. Traffic data collection, as well as multiple field investigations, parcel inventory, and right-of-way estimates have been performed in order to determine the most feasible and cost-effective method to construct the proposed recommendation. In addition to traffic congestion at the intersection, there is a safety concern due to a high volume of crashes. Between January 2014 and December 2016, a total of 190 crashes were documented within the improvement limits. Five of these crashes involved pedestrians and bicyclists. The proposed improvements will construct dual left turn lanes and extend the existing eastbound left turn lane to accommodate the existing and future traffic volumes. Pedestrian features will be improved to meet current Americans with Disabilities Act standards. The proposed typical section for the project will maintain three eastbound and westbound lanes on State Road 436. Widening will occur to the north side of the roadway and accommodate a wider sidewalk. The sidewalk on the south side of the roadway will also be widened. All right-of-way for this project has been acquired and no further right-of-way is necessary for the proposed improvements. The proposed improvements will affect two existing intersections within the widening limits. The existing median opening at Forest Avenue is a bi-directional opening allowing left turns and U-turns from westbound and eastbound State Road 436. The existing median opening at Newburyport Avenue 
is a full opening with an emergency signal for the City of Altamont Springs Fire Department. In the proposed condition, left turns and U-turns can be made from the westbound State Road 436 direction at Forest Avenue. Newburyport Avenue will be restricted to left turns and U-turns from the eastbound State Road 436 direction with full access given to emergency vehicles only. Accessing Forest Avenue from the eastbound direction will be possible by making a U-turn at Newburyport Avenue. U-turns are often much safer than direct left turns, especially on high volume, high speed, or congested roadways. They have also been shown to reduce the potential for accidents. Research on the safety of U-turns indicates that crashes causing injuries or fatalities are reduced by 27% and total crash rates are reduced by 18% through encouraging right turns followed by U-turns compared to direct left turns. Also as part of this project, the existing stormwater drainage system will be improved and the existing drainage patterns will be maintained. New inlets will be added to accommodate the additional pavement. All drainage improvements will comply with local jurisdictions and the St. Johns River Water Management District. This project is currently in the early design phase. Plans are anticipated to be completed by spring 2019. Construction could begin as early as fall 2019. During construction, measures will be taken to ensure the safety of construction workers and the traveling public. To provide this measure of safety, lane closures will be needed. Access to businesses and residences will be maintained during construction. This project is being coordinated with links to ensure bus services are not disrupted. No additional right-of-way, aside from what has already been acquired, will be needed. For more information about this project, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is the FDOT's living platform to keep you and the public informed of current and future projects. You are encouraged to visit the website, which contains the links to easily access online information to stay up to date on the status of the project. Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view the current project schedule, project contact information, and access project files, such as this presentation. Type the project number 434-931-1 in the search box at the top of the page. Then click on Go. When the new page opens, click on the project file name. We encourage you to share your comments with us and there are many different ways that you can do that. One way is to provide your comments verbally during the official public comment period following this presentation. You may also fill out a comment form and drop it in the comments box at the comments table or take the form with you and mail it to the address shown on the form. You may also email your comments to Mr. Ty Garner, FDOT Project Manager at ty.garner at dot.state.fl.us. You may also make a comment to the court reporter or use the Ask a Question button on the CFL Roads website on the State Road 436 page. All comments that are received by October 22, 2018 will become part of the official public hearing record. After this presentation, we will collect speaker cards from anyone wishing to make a verbal statement. We ask that you speak into a microphone and limit your comments to two minutes. Your comments will become part of the official public record. And because it is very important for us to hear from you, we will not be responding to questions during the public comment time but we will be listening to your comments very carefully during this formal setting. Once the official comment period is closed, project staff will be available at the displays to answer any questions. To submit a written comment, please fill out a comment form and drop it in the comments box or take it with you and mail it to the address shown on the form. You may also make a formal statement to the court reporter after the public hearing presentation. Again, all comments received by October 22, 2018 will become part of the official public record for this hearing. If you have questions or would like more information, please contact Mr. Ty Garner, 
FDOT Project Manager or Consultant Project Manager, Mr. Joseph Kiesel, by mail, telephone, or email. We appreciate you for taking time to attend this public hearing. Thank you for your interest and participation in this important project. This is the end of the recorded portion of the presentation.